कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे आई वांटेड टू टेक अ लुक एट अ a verse that Prabhupada quotes quite often in many different places in lectures and purports um <clears throat> during classes and it's um atakshi krishna namadi nabagat grayam indriya seven mukhi hi jivana swayam eva sparatyada which refers to um the devotional service begins with the tongue and um the devotees have put together this wonderful resource called vani quotes and they reference and cross reference where these uh these different verses appear so I want to take a look at that Hare Krishna and what that means and how that works. Uh, it's a refresher, refresher core here. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. We still have a couple mantras to go. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna <coughs> Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram 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 Hari Hari In in many places So the Prabhupada explains that God is realized through the tongue, through chanting and hearing and making offerings of food stuff to Krishna and then taking the remnants of that. It's not by seeing. We put a lot of emphasis on seeing. I'm looking at seeing, but that's not how that's not how God is realized. He's not realized in that way. is realized by the tongue not by the eyes so this is a a verse from the bhagavatam chapter 3 chapter 15 38 when one can understand the significance of the lord's holy name and one engages himself 
in the devotional service of the Lord, beginning with the tongue, by chanting and tasting prasad, and gradually the Lord reveals himself. Prabhupada's purport. It is said in the Brahma Sanhita that devotees, being elevated in love of God, always see Shamashunda, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, within their hearts. But when they are mature, the same God is visible before them face to face. For ordinary persons, the Lord is not visible. However, when one can understand the significance of his holy name, and one engages himself in the devotional service of the Lord, beginning with the tongue, by chanting and tasting prasad, then gradually the Lord reveals himself. Thus, the devotees constantly sees the Lord within his heart, and in a more mature stage, one can see the same Lord directly, as we see everything else. So when Prabhupada says, not by seeing, he's saying the Lord is first realized by the tongue, tasting prasadam, chanting Hare Krishna, and hearing, chanting and hearing. Then it can, he becomes visible. But first is the chanting and hearing, and taking the prasadam, food offered to Krishna. This is all to control the tongue. And then in the fourth canto, this is that famous part of a famous, that famous verse that Prabhupada quotes so much. Jivan mukhe he jivadao. Jivan mukhe he jivadao. Jivan mukhe he jivadao. Means that service of the Lord begins with the tongue. In Bhagavatam 4.7.24, the purport, it is said that Ananta, a great incarnation of the Lord, has unlimited mouths, and with each mouth he has been trying to describe the glories of the Lord for an unlimited span of time. Yet the glories of the Lord remain unlimited, and he therefore never finishes. It is not possible for any ordinary living entity to understand or to glorify the unlimited personality of Godhead. But one can offer prayers or service to the Lord according to one's particular capacity. This capacity is increased by the tongue. This refers to chanting. By chanting, Hare Krishna, one begins the service of the Lord. Another function of the tongue is to taste and accept the Lord's prasad. We have to begin our service to the unlimited with the tongue and become perfect in chanting and accepting the Lord's prasad. To accept the Lord's prasad means to control the entire set of senses. The tongue is considered to be most uncontrollable because it hankers for so many unwholesome eatables, therefore forcing the living entity into the dungeon of material conditioned life. As the living entity transmigrates from one form of life to another, he has to eat so many abominable foodstuffs that finally there's no limit. The tongue should be engaged in chanting and in eating the Lord's prasad so that the other senses will be controlled. Chanting is the medicine, prasad is the diet. With these processes, one can begin his service, and as the service increases, the Lord reveals more and more to the devotee. But there is no limit to his glories, and there is no limit to engaging oneself in the service of the Lord. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Chanting 
in eating Lord's prasad, the other senses will be controlled. Chanting is the medicine, prasad is the diet. Hare Krishna. So this is the treatment. You have to take the treatment. <clears throat> this is the prescription. Chant, take prasad. Chant, take prasad. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. And what is prasadam? It's food offered to Krishna. So that the tongue will always vibrate. Krishna, Krishna. <clears throat> Canto 10, uh, we have here uh, Bhagavatam Canto 10, 9.15. Krishna reveals more and more to the devotee as the devotee advances in service. Jiva Dao, this service begins with the tongue while chanting, with chanting and with taking prasad of Krishna. <coughs> Purport. When Krishna is satisfied with one's devotional service, he does everything himself. See, Sevan Mukhya Hijivada Swayam Eva Sparatyada. He reveals more and more to the devotee as the devotee advances in service. Jivada, his service begins with the tongue, with chanting and with taking the prasad of Krishna. And the full verse is, Atak Shri Krishna Namadi, Navavet Krayam Indriyai, Sevan Mukhe Hi Jivadao, Swayam Eva, Sparatyada. And here's something from Chaitanya Charitamrita, Adi Lila 8.16. In the purport, the holy name becomes manifest when one engages in the service of the Holy Name. This service in a submissive attitude begins with one's tongue. The Holy Name becomes manifest when one engages in the service of the Holy Name. Chaitanya Charitamrita 816 report. In the Bhakti Rasamita Sindhu, it is clearly said, Sevan Mukhe Hi Jivadao Swayam Eva Sparatyada. The Holy Name becomes manifest <clears throat> when one engages in the service of the Holy Name. <clears throat> this service in a submissive attitude begins with the tongue. Sevan Mukhe Hi Jivadao. One must engage his tongue in the service of the Holy Name. <clears throat> Our Krishna consciousness movement is based on this principle. We try to engage all the members of the Krishna consciousness movement in the service of the Holy Name. <clears throat> Since the Holy Name and Krishna are non-different, the members of the Krishna consciousness movement not only chant the Holy Name of the Lord offenselessly, but also do not allow their tongues to eat anything that is not first offered to the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So how important is it to offer for preparing foods, prepare them in Krishna consciousness? How important is that? Very important. Chanting and taking prasad. Very important. And from the Nectar of Instruction, First verse in the purport. <clears throat> Adherence to the philosophy of the Maya bodies, belief in the fruit of results of karma bodies, belief in plans based on materialistic desires are called avaroda priti, jnanis, karmis, and materialistic plan makers generally attract the attention of conditioned souls. But when the materialists cannot fulfill their plans, and when their devices are frustrated, they become angry. Frustration of material desires produces anger. Similarly, <clears throat> the demands of the body can be divided into three categories. 
the demands of the tongue, the belly, and the genitals. One may observe that these three senses are physically situated in a straight line as far as the body is concerned, and that the bodily demands begin with the tongue. If one can restrain the demands of the tongue by limiting its activities to eating prashad, food offered to Krishna, the urges of the belly of the belly and the genital can't even say these words. The urges of the belly and the genitals can automatically be controlled. <coughs> and then again from Nectar of Instruction 5 in the purport. When one fully engages in chanting the Hare Krishna Ma Mantra, he gradually realizes his own spiritual identity. Unless one faithfully chants the Hare Krishna Mantra, Krishna does not reveal himself. Sevan Mukkehi Jibada Swayam Evas Paratyada. We cannot realize the Supreme Personality of Godhead by any artificial means. We must engage faithfully in the service of the Lord. Such service begins with the tongue, Sevan Mukkehi Jibada, which means that we should always chant the holy names of the Lord and accept Krishna Prashad. We should not chant or accept anything else. When this process is faithfully followed, the Supreme Lord reveals himself to the devotee. And there are some references here from lectures. This was a lecture on Bhagavad Gita, chapter 1, verse 10. <clears throat> you cannot understand Krishna by these blunt material senses. That's not possible. You have to purify it. You have to purify it. Tat part vena nirmalam. Simply by Krishna consciousness, always thinking of Krishna, all your senses will be purified. This is the process. Jivan Mukhe, hey Jivada. And you can begin service with your tongue. Now, this is also very surprising. By utilizing our tongue, we can become perfect. This is also unknown to the modern science. By utilizing the tongue, one can become perfect? Yes, this is the process. If by the tongue you chant Hare Krishna mantra and by the tongue you taste prasadam, you will be perfect simply by executing these two things. Do not accept anything. Do not allow the tongue to touch anything which is not offered to Krishna. This is one item. And another item, engage the tongue always chanting Hare Krishna. You become perfect. And this is from a lecture, again, Bhagavad Gita 1.10, given on a, a, a different day. No, no. It's from the same lecture, just a little different section of it. <clears throat> Dhruva Maharaj was meditating, and within six months he saw Krishna face to face. So everyone can see. Everyone will be able, provided we utilize the tongue. Sevan mukte hi jibadal. Jibadal. Jibadal means beginning with the tongue. We have got senses, all senses, eyes, ears, touch, so many senses. But begin with the sense tongue. Try to control the tongue and engage in Krishna's service. Okay, this is another lecture. This is Bhagavad Gita 2, verse 3. <clears throat> As Sri Krishna Sya Namadal, Krishna's name, form, quality, etc., is not understood by these blunt senses. So, how is it to be done? Now, Seva Mukhi Hi Jibada, again, Jibada, beginning from the tongue, controlling the tongue. Just see, it is something peculiar that you have to understand Krishna by controlling the tongue. This is something wonderful. How is that? I have to control my tongue to understand Krishna? 
But it is. The Shastra injunction is there. Seva Mukhe Hiji Bata. Jiva means tongue. So in order to see Krishna, in order to understand Krishna, the first business is to control your tongue. Therefore we say, don't take meat, don't take liquor, because it is controlling the tongue. The tongue is the most strong enemy as sense, as perverted sense. And these rascals, they say, no, you can eat whatever you like. It has nothing to do with religion. But Vedic Shastra says, you rascal, first of all, control your tongue. Then you can understand what is God. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. <clears throat> it's another lecture, Bhagavad Gita, third chapter, 13th through 16th verses. Out of all the organs, the tongue is the most uncontrollable organ, tongue. When we eat, Perhaps those devotees who eat with us, we chant this, Sara Bijajal Jadandriya Taika. This body is the encasement of nations of our ignorance. And in that body, the senses are the greatest enemies. Of that, the tongue is the most powerful enemy. Karma Jaji Bhayati Loba Moisa Dhirmati. Loba Moisa Dhirmati. Because tongue is always hankering after palatable things. And it is making me bound up in so many reactions of life. That's a secret. Therefore, in the Bhagavad Gita, the beginning of karma yoga begins with the tongue. Yagna shashtashina shanta. We have to eat. And now we have to control the tongue first. How can we control the tongue? By offering sacrifice. By offering, we have to take foodstuff for maintaining our body. Now, if we offer foodstuff, prepare for the Lord, that's called yagna. Yagna is not a very difficult thing. You are preparing foodstuff for eating at your home. You have simply to prepare that foodstuff in a nice way so you can offer to Krishna. That's all. The process of eating or your process of securing ingredients for eating, your cooking, nothing is stopped. Only one thing is required that instead of cooking for yourself, for the satisfaction of your tongue, you please cook it for satisfaction of Krishna and take the prasadam afterwards. And this is another lecture, uh, Bhagavad Gita 3, <clears throat> 27. So in our present experience, we see the flesh or mental concoction. But spiritual understanding is different. That you have to do when you are spiritualized. Therefore it is said, Atat Shri Krishna Namadi Na Bhavet Grayam Indriya. Indriya means senses. You cannot understand God by your present senses or godly kingdom of God. Seven Mukhi Hiji Vidav Swayam Eva But if you engage your service, beginning with the tongue, then God reveals. God reveals means he reveals his kingdom. He himself. <clears throat> and this is a lecture, Bhagavad Gita, chapter 4, text 5. Seva Mukhi Hiji If you are in service attitude, then beginning from your tongue, jiva, jiva means tongue, Jivadal, beginning with the tongue. The God realization begins with your tongue and ear. You chant Hare Krishna, hear the transcendental name, and gradually you shall realize. <clears throat> and this is Bhagavad Gita 4 9. Seva Mukya He Jivadal. If you engage your tongue in his service, then that is the recommendation of Vedic literature, that first of all, you have to engage your tongue. Krishna's service begins from the tongue, because tongue has got two functions, namely to vibrate, to speak something, and to taste something. So you engage. You simply engage your tongue for chanting and glorifying Krishna and eat prasadam. Then the two tongues business will be finished. 
and this is Bhagavad Gita 427. Krishna will help. In some way or other, you engage your mind at the lotus feet of Krishna. Savai mana Krishna, padara vindaya. And gradually everything will be controlled. There is another version that Seva Nuke Hi Jivada. Jivada, to control the jiva. The jiva means the tongue. It is very difficult to control the jiva. People do not know it, but actually this is there. Everyone becomes a servant of the senses just beginning from the tongue. They eat anything and everything. Therefore, they cannot control other senses also. This is the experience of big, big yogis. Therefore, in the yoga practice, yama, niyama, in the yoga practice also, it is forbidden not to allow the tongue to eat anything and everything. No, that is not possible. Similarly, we also ask our devotees not to allow your tongue to touch anything except Krishna Prashan. Tongues to businesses, eating, tasting something, and vibrating sound. So if we can control the tongue not to touch anything which is not offered to Krishna, and if we do not allow the tongue to talk anything except Krishna, Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, then you become the greatest yogi. And this is a lecture on uh, 427. But it's the same uh, lecture, just a different part of the lecture. We have got so many senses. So these senses being materially contaminated, we cannot hear what is Krishna's holy name. Atakshi Krishna Namadi Nabhavet Graham Indiyai. Then how to understand Krishna? That is recommended. Sevan Mukehi Jibhada. You have to engage your tongue, first of all, in the service of the Lord. The Krishna realization begins from the tongue. How? Now, you simply make it a vow that I shall not talk anything except glorifying the Lord. Then you become perfect. Very simple method. Simply you have to make this determination that I shall not talk anything which is not about Krishna. And I shall not eat anything which is not offered to Krishna. So our this Krishna consciousness movement is teaching these two things specifically. <clears throat> and this is Bhagavad Gita 7, verse 1. The beginning of service is chanting. Therefore it is said, Jivadao. Jivadao means, Jiva means tongue. Tongue. Your service begins by the tongue. How? By the tongue you can chant Hare Krishna. And by the tongue you can taste Krishna Prashadam. So the beginning process is very nice. You chant Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. And whatever little prashadam is offered to you by Krishna, by his kindness, you accept it. Then the result will be Sevan Mukhi Hiji Vada. If you become submissive and you begin this process, chanting and eating prashadam, and Swayam Evas Paratyada. Simply by these two kinds of practices, Krishna will reveal himself before you. I am like this. You cannot understand Krishna by speculation. No, that is not possible because your senses are imperfect. But if you begin this process of service, then it will be possible one day Krishna will reveal to you. I am like this. I am like this. I am like this. Krishna will reveal. I am like this. <clears throat> and this is that same verse, Bhagavad Gita 7 1, give a lecture on another day. First of all, you begin how to try to learn how to love God. And when you are actually on the platform of love, prema, premanjana charita bhakti, you will see God always in his form. He becomes revealed. You haven't got to try to see, but he will reveal. Swayam eva sparatyada. Sevan mukhe hijibhada, swayam eva sparatyada. When you engage your tongue, 
That beginning is Tang, Jibadal, Sevan Muke. If you begin your service, God cannot be understood by challenging mood. Therefore, Krishna says, first of all, surrender, then try to understand. Sarvadaman paricha cha mamikam saranam raja aham tvam sarva pavadyo mokshai shami masuchaha. When you surrender, and by that surrendering process, when you are free from the resultant action of sinful activities, then you can appreciate God. Not that God is my order supplier. Please come, I will see you. No. And this is Bhagavad Gita 7.7. 7. We have to prepare our ears to hear about Krishna. In this way, we can see Krishna. This is the process. How, just like we use our tongue, that is one of our senses. So Krishna says that raso hama apsukanteya. Everyone drinks water, so he tastes it, relishes the taste of water. But as soon as he relishes the taste of water, according to the direction of Bhagavad Gita, he can see Krishna. Similarly, by the tongue, because Krishna says, I'm the taste of water. So he tastes it, relishes taste of water, and he relishes the taste of water, he can see Krishna. Similarly, by the tongue, you can eat Bhagavad Prasadam, the foodstuff offered to Krishna. As soon as you taste the foodstuff offered to Krishna, you immediately remember Krishna. How nicely Krishna has taken his food stuff. So by the time you can begin, simply by eating Krishna Prashad, without reading any Vedic literature, without reading even Bhagavad Gita, if you simply think, Krishna, how nicely Krishna has tasted this food stuff, you become Krishna conscious. And this is Bhagavad Gita 10.3. <clears throat> Our senses are so imperfect. Let me see what the verse is. What is this verse? This is the purport to the verse. Let's see what the verse is. <clears throat> it's 10 to, right? I'm going to give you 10, 2, 3. Okay, so this is the verse. Na me vidhu saradana prabhavam na maharshaya ahamadir hi devanam maharshinam cha sarvasa, which is neither the host of demigods nor the great sages know my origin, for I in every respect am the source of the demigods and the sages. And then in the purport, Prabhupada discusses. Our senses are so imperfect that simply by expanding the sense power artificially, speculating, we cannot realize. These are described in different ways in different scriptures. So he can be known how. That is also described. When you become in a submissive attitude and you chant, Jibadal, Jibadal means the realization begins from the tongue. God realization begins from the tongue. Therefore, the tongue's function is to eat and to vibrate sound. So, these two processes, vibration of Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, and eating, Krishna Prashad. You cannot allow your tongue to taste anything and everything. If you can control your tongue for eating Krishna Prashad, and if you engage your tongue in vibrating transcendental sound, Hare Krishna, then jiva, sevan mukhe hi jivadal. By this submissive process that I surrender my tongue to the Supreme Personality of Godhead, then by controlling the tongue, you're controlling all the other senses. Hare Krishna. Yeah, this is nice. There's a lot more. This, this, this reference to Seiman Mukhi Eji Badal is like thousands of references. We have barely scratched the surface. So how important is it? How important is this? 
सेवन मुखे ही जी बड़ा हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 कंट्रोलिंग द टंग ओनली चैंटिंग हरे कृष्ण एंड ओनली ईटिंग फूड ऑफर टू कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण ही सेस यू डोंट इवन हैव नॉट इवन हर्ड और रेड द वेदस और इवन भगवत गीता You take prasadam and you think, oh, how nice this is for Krishna. I mean, it's just for Krishna. You don't even know anything. Bhagavad Gita, Vedas, this verse, that verse. You don't even know anything. You just taste the food offered to Krishna and say how nice it is. This is food offered to Krishna. Oh, how nice. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram. I say, I say, you can just, you can eat your way back to Godhead if you can take prasadam in that way. You just eat your way home. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Eat your way back to Godhead, but don't take anything else. Yeah, you know, to get to that point where you're not attracted to other things, not offered to Krishna. Especially not offerable to Krishna. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Ram, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Ram, Hari Ram. Don't speak anything other than related to Krishna. Control the tongue. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna. Then you can see Krishna. Krishna reveals, but first it's with the tongue. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, all the senses, all control. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Take time to chant. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Ram, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Ram, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna. Thank you. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Ram, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Ram, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Ram, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Ram, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Ram, Hari Ram. Ram Ram Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna Krishna. It's like we hear the part about oh you have to chant Hari Krishna, you have to chant Hari Krishna. But the other part is uh, what did he probably compared it to uh, like a medical treatment for a disease. The prescription is the chanting, and the diet is the prasadam. So they go together. You got your prescription, and you have your diet, and you cure the disease. Just taking the prescription alone, you have to have the diet too. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Ram, Hari Hari. But he says this. Eating indiscriminately, anything and everything, um, <clears throat> is dragging your, your conditioned soul from lifetime after lifetime into the most abominable situations, tasting this, tasting that, eating this, eating that, so to offer to Krishna and take the remnants, and then you're connected to Krishna. 
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna.